Time to paint some back scene. I've removed everything from this baseboard on the left here, apart from the track which is pinned down at the back. I'm gonna cover that up when I paint. And I've put some masking tape around to show where the top level of the back scene is gonna to come to. I'm just gonna paint it all blue initially, try and make it look a bit sky-like. I've watched a few YouTube videos about how to paint relatively realistic back scenes, but as I may have mentioned on this channel before, painting is not my strong suit. So we'll see how this looks when I finish, it's gonna be a little bit experimental. Uh, if it looks terrible, I can always have another go or buy a back scene and stick it on top. So let's see how it goes. Simon's having a go at doing a cloud. So just, no, no, you didn't brush it, you just that's it, just stipple it on. Keep it all in one small space, like this. That's it. I want to do a big one up here. Okay, start a big one just about there. Keep it, try and keep it in one space, and then gradually move it out. Get the brush straight on, that's exactly it, yes. Speaking like I'm the expert at painting. I'm very much not the expert at painting. That's a good cloud, Simon. Well done. Oh, sticky and easy. Here's the progress so far. There's a few too many clouds there. I'm going to take one of those out probably. But, uh... And you think I may need some more paint? Yeah, maybe. Because look, I'm running out. No, that's good. It's meant to look, you know, not too thick. Good. Good stippling. Great job, Simon. Well done. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Wonderful. I'm just going to keep it bigger because big clouds at the top, little clouds at the bottom. That's right. Big clouds up near the top of the sky. Little thin wispy clouds lower down. Good. Make it wider rather than deeper now. We've reached about halfway, and um, you can see there's the side we did yesterday, and I've moved all the stuff from this side over to here, so that this side is now prepared. I masked it up last night and prepared it all ready for painting, so we're gonna move on to the second side today. I'm pretty pleased with how this is looking so far. Big shout out to the YouTube channel Ron's Trains and Things. I'll post a link up here to his tutorial that we watched, which has been the, the main inspiration behind how we've done this. I don't think we've done ours quite as nicely as his, but it's certainly his technique we've been following. So check that out uh, and then you can do something very similar. Um, so yeah, on we go with day two, painting more back scene. So we're back in the train shed and it's the next day. So all the paint over like here, you can see it over here, has dried. So now I think it's time to do some more painting over on that side. Well, let's get cracking. Let's open the paint pot. Yeah, I'm doing it. I've got and, some paint. And Daddy's already opened the paint pot, just so you know. Well, that's all the wall part painted all the way around now. Um, it's now time to fix up this uh, extra bit of back seam which is going to go in front of the incline here and then that's going to be painted cloud effect as well and hopefully it'll blend with the back seam that's painted behind. It's not going to be completely invisible but it's going to hide the track behind uh, which is the main purpose of it. So let's crack on with fixing that up and then painting it. Well there's the uh, masking back scene in. It's pretty obvious where it is but hopefully when painted blue it'll blend in a little bit more and access to the track down the back for cleaning and should there be any derailments is pretty easy. So let's get on with filling those holes and then paint. The back scene's in and painted. I've just got to wait for the filler to dry before I can paint those last three squares. So I'll probably do another coat on top of that and then do the, all the haze and blending and clouds on that 
later. I expect that'll have to wait till tomorrow so that feathers completely dry. But I'm pretty happy with this at the end of the second day's work on the back scene, uh, which now goes round all the way. I'm quite looking forward to taking off all the masking tape and putting the trap back in and running some trains around on it. So I'm just taking off all the masking tape now. Well done. Big moment. Lovely straight edge. Ah, exposed. to go up here think and um, now we're running a train round to celebrate the train is King George the first number 6006 did you like painting the cloud Simon and doing the rolling and all the other sorts of painting yeah there's the train I was really happy with this project. It turned out way better than I expected. I, I didn't think we'd be able to make a back scene look anywhere near this good, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And it, I was really pleased to be able to get the children involved as well with the painting, and they both painted some wonderful clouds and uh, got involved with rolling and all sorts of other uh, bits as well. So we hope you've enjoyed our video. We're gonna be bringing you more updates soon on our model railway. The next thing we're gonna be doing is rebuilding the landscape around our Ooh, viaduct. And this is a new playlist called Model Railway Update. So yeah, subscribe if you want to hear more about our channel. Uh, we'd love to stay in touch with you. Drop us a comment if you've enjoyed this video. Or, or like. You, or like it. And perhaps you've got some tips about how we could do it better. I'm sure there's ways we could have improved it. But uh, for now, uh, enjoy. And we'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Have a nice week before next week. It doesn't get much better than that.